In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the key principles involved in types of radiation. So let's start off with alpha radiation. So this is the most ionizing type of radiation because it can cause thousands of ionizations per decay. However, it's the least penetrating kind of radiation, which makes it ideal for smoke alarms because when the smoke goes into the smoke alarm, it blocks alpha radiation being able to pass across the gap, which actually breaks the circuit, triggering the alarm. So what actually happens in alpha decay? Well, what, one of the things you'll know is, notice is you get the emission of what's called an alpha particle. So an alpha particle is essentially a, well it is, it's a helium nucleus, which means it contains got two protons because there's a two in the atomic number section which means there are two neutrons as well as obviously four minus two gives you two so what are you left over with so you, after you've done that you also obviously have a particle left over which has n minus four and z minus two so that's what's going on in alpha decay. It's the emission of this alpha particle, and it does that to try and improve the stability of the overall whole. So the uh, the what's get left left behind here on the left hand side is n minus four, z minus two, should in theory be more stable as a result of emitting this alpha particle. So let's have a look at beta plus radiation, which I did look at briefly in one of the earlier videos. So what happens is that a proton decays into forming a neutron because an up quark gets converted into a down quark through weak interaction. So to conserve the charge, we have a W plus boson, because obviously the proton is plus formed, which then splits into our positron, or or beta plus particle and a neutrino. So that's beta plus radiation and that's used in PET scanners where the P stands for positron because what happens is this, the, there is a part of it which manufactures positrons by pair production and when these positrons annihilate with an electron they, re re they release photons of radiation which can be picked up by a scanner. So that's beta plus radiation. Beta minus is the opposite way around. So a neutron this time decays into a proton, which is obviously positively charged because a down quark this time is changing into an up quark through uh, the weak interaction. So to conserve charge this time, obviously it's neutral before and so there needs to be a neutral after. The W minus boson is formed which must mean an electron is emitted and by the principles of conservation of the lepton number a anti-electron -elect neutrino must also be produced. So beta minus radiation is moderately ionizing just the same as beta plus is very very similar so you're getting hundreds of ionizations per decay so not quite as ionizing as alpha but more ionizing the gamma. And it's used in quite a lot in factories, especially paper manufacturing uh, factories, as a way of detecting the thickness of the materials you're producing. Okay, so let's move on to the final type, gamma. So gamma radiation is the weakest in terms of ionization. It actually has one-to-one -one ionization. So one photon of gamma radiation can ionize one atom. Okay. But gamma radiation is very, very high energy, which makes it the most dangerous. It also makes it very useful if we're trying to sterilize equipment or defeat some cancer cells. So the first thing to know is gamma radiation um, is, is, is released after alpha or beta. Okay, So it doesn't necessarily happen by itself. It happens as a byproduct of alpha or beta. Because what happens is a process called excitation. Okay, so the particles 
that are involved in, say, alpha decay, for instance, once they've undergone decay, they are, they are very highly energized particles, so they get up to what's called an excited state. Now, an excited state is not a stable state, so it's gonna want, it wants to move to a more stable state called ground state. And how it does this is by emitting photons. And the emission of photons of high enough energy releases gamma radiation. So during any kind of alpha or beta decay, the particles are very highly energized, so they're in an excited state. So they release photons of gamma radiation to move down to a more stable ground state.